Legend of Total War here with part 6 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Pure Hearted Crusader States Let's Play campaign. On the last episode I took Al Aquaba off, um, off the Fatimids and now I'd like to take Gaza. Now, I'm just a little bit concerned about the amount of men that we've got up against the amount that we're up against. We've got a lot of cavalry so I don't want to waste them. Might actually be a better idea to attack, attack these guys here to draw them out and fight them out on the field. Even though, of course, we would be releasing most of them again. It's just that this is a castle that can be a bit harder to assault than a city. Also, though, with this one, the, uh, the spy had opened the city. Also, this will give us another chance to get a spy in there. So I think I'll do that. I think it's a... I think that's an appropriate move. Okay. So the balance of power is in our favor slightly anyway. Okay, they don't have much cavalry apart from the generals. It would be a good opportunity to kill these two guys. Because they both got away from me last time. I captured both of them, but of course, on a dictates, I must release them. Come out to battle on the honourable field of uh, field of battle today. Fuck, I hate saying honourable. It's a disgusting word. But uh, we'll we'll show them a lesson. Okay, now what we should probably do is try and get rid of that first army before the the second one arrives. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they Okay, they're over there. Slavery. Also, the enemy they're arriving from over here. Um, this could be good, but I wasn't anticipating this quickly. Need to rearrange. Very quickly, rearrange. Okay, you Templar bastards, stay here. Don't know why I put them off shooting. You guys need to take them out, because they've got artillery. I think. Yeah, they do. They've got ballista. And, look, essentially just take out the, uh, the ballista. Don't worry about anything else. Probably sending way too many men, so you come back. Come on, move it. Unresponsive shits. Good, that distracted them long enough for me to smash these ballistas. Come on, get away from them. Don't be anywhere near these spear militia. You charge into. I can see them, they're all gone just about. Come on, get rid of them. Have a go in here. They're having a bit of a skirmish, we've got a massive high ground advantage. It's perfectly fine for us to sit here and shoot. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, okay, you guys get back. So we'll probably take a few casualties amongst the archers, but that's okay, that's what they're here for. Alright. Then, I don't know, just aim for their, their their garbage in the center here. That's probably where we're going to get the most amount of kills from. They yeah, definitely want to get rid of their spear infantry, so when we assault Gaza, um, they're obviously not hindering my cavalry too much. Okay, looks like we got rid of all of those ballista crews, so that's good. Also, these guys will be joining the garrison. So it would definitely be a good idea to wipe them out as much as we can. Okay, I want you to come out further this way. Where are my melees? I doubt they're pronounced miles. Alright, let's go. So far, the archers have done a pretty good job, though. To combat. Okay, hang on, hang on. You. Ah, oh, shit. You guys are good against cavalry. But of course, not exactly great against the charge. That probably fucked you up big time. Come on, over here, let's charge into them. 
What are you still shooting at? Um, shoot it. Shit. I'm gonna charge into this. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, Nubian archers down there. I want you to go smash them. And this time, don't let them break. Make sure you kill this motherfucker. We don't want to be running them down. We want to be killing the bastards. Only half the enemy force remains. Our men have slain the Saracen. Good, that's one of them dead. Now we must send these men running back to the desert. These guys are coming in. I want to make sure this army here is dead before I suppose we have to deal with them. Kill this motherfucker. Small chivalry certainly wouldn't hurt, so. The fuck had to get through there? Yeah, you're gonna need to come over here. Partial unit. Come on, smash these guys, get rid of them. No, no, don't get into melee, you idiots. Shoot them. Actually, you guys, time to turn around. Deal with these now. Good, we killed both generals, I think. I don't think he was breaking. But whatever the case is, he's dead now. Well,. He might be dead. It's gone. So this battle here is well these guys here have been beaten. Let's capture them. So it looks like about four or five hundred of them will remain for the next fight at Gaza. Okay, infantry. Now let's try and make sure these guys we kill as many of them as possible. Specifically, you should be aiming for the Saracen militia, but really, I don't mind. Yeah, actually, aim specifically for the Saracen militia. Actually, you shouldn't be standing there. Not a good idea. You guys are almost out of ammo. Alright, time to send in the melee infantry. And finish them off. Alright, let's run them down. They're getting shot a little bit first. Let them let the archers use their ammunition. Good another captured general. Well actually that's just the captain. Which only belongs to Good, we got a decent kill ratio there. Still, a lot of them will have to be released, but that'll just increase this guy's chivalry. So when he gets to be a governor again, he'll uh, be growing settlements quite quickly. Because that's the thing about this... Oh, he fucking got captured again. Bloody hell. What a dick. Eh, not too bad. Okay, we've also managed to merge, I think, two units, because that was full before. Let's grab these Sudanese tribesmen. And the spy here. Odds of getting inside, 50-50 chance. Well, whatever. Open the gates for me, bitch. That would be awesome. Thank fuck. However, I think we've got another spy in here. You've got a 50-50 chance. Now I know this is sort of like overkill. Actually no, you're better off spying on this priest here. It'll give you the same amount of experience, I think. Good. Because I need I do need a good network of spies. 
Spies are a good way of getting inside the city. And I wouldn't consider it dishonorable. Some people, I don't know what some people think. I'm really, it's really, for me, it's just about low tax rates, no exploits, um, releasing all captives, occupying all settlements. Everything that, that you sort of like don't, uh, no assassinations, of course. Um, everything that you don't utilize is just stupidity. I mean, chivalrous generals, they would use spies. You need, you need, you need um, reconnaissance. You need to know what the enemy's up to. Just turning a blind eye to things is not a chivalric move. It's stupidity. This isn't a pure stupid campaign. Pure hearted. Even though I don't have a pure heart, it's probably black as a... I don't know. Shit. Not that shit's black. Anyway. There's two entrances. That's alright. Okay, so do what we did last time. As in against, um... That other settlement. I'll have you hang back, because I don't want you to die. This is This will be enough as it is. I like to have my cavalry come through on the side, infantry come through the front. There could be some boiling oil there as well. That would be very bad. But oh well, boiling oil doesn't do us anywhere near as much on this game as it does in Rome Total War. And nowhere near as much as Rome 2, but of course everyone just avoids boiling oil in Rome 2. I can't remember the last time I even saw boiling oil. But then again, I'm not really playing it lately. Surely the fact that we've got a spy here, they'll have disabled the boiling oil. But we'll see. Nope. <laughs> Spy's an idiot. No, 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 no. Go kill the bodyguard. Don't want you to go kill the sp uh, spearmen. So, probably lost a couple of dozen men there, but that's okay. Actually, let's... Who's our heaviest guy? Templars. Keep them ha hanging back. We'll kill this guy very quickly, and then these guys here should break. Usually it's the infantry that I want is locking down force, but they're completely avoiding me. Take this, you fucking king. Released you twice, you piece of fuck. They're shaken. The Templar Knights, they're really good fighters. Don't regret, regret getting them at all. Come on, kill the bastard. Motherfucker just won't die. Pretty sure there was another unit around here. Yeah, there's a couple units there, but that's okay. Come on, I'm losing my Knight's Templar. Get on with it. Good. This guy should break as soon as the infantry touch into the rear. So this is the opposite of what it should be like. Got the, uh, what's it called? The uh, infantry doing the charge. That's okay, we got them. The good thing about a city assault is we can capture these guys and we don't have to release them. Oh wait, you're coming in from that angle. That's okay. We'll have them come round. What's, what's coming in over here? Well, list of crew. Yeah, we've got to get rid of them. Curse it. Our men no longer command the castle. I should have gone around the other way. I wonder if there's still time. Nope. These guys will be defeated in a matter of seconds. Oh, our shit. Foe runs. We must push our advantage. 
Well, whatever the case is, we have absolutely smashed them. Very nice. So those armies are now dealt with. Good. Occupy the settlement. Hopefully we can leave it straight away. Good. What I need is a thieves guild. Alright, let's see here. Merge whatever we can. It's all good. Why are you there? You never retreated. What the fuck? Okay, good. We should be able to leave... Leave this. With just a small garrison. Well, maybe not even a small garrison will work. What's causing all the problems? Well, apart from lots of squalor and unrest. Well, actually, it's not much so much squalor, it's religious unrest. See if I wanted to take these guys out. Okay. What if we left one of the generals behind? Say, you. Because you're actually really chivalric. I know you've got a lot of command, but maybe it's time for the younger guy to have a bit of a go. Have you got anything that he might be able to use, like Templar Knight? Nope, can't give that away. Duke of Kerak, no, you can keep that. We'll make him the Duke of Gaza, I guess. No, 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 no. You're staying here. You're staying here, and to keep you company will be a unit of pilgrims, I suppose. Now make it these guys. No one's going to come and bother you for a while anyway. Okay, then we just need to push forward here. So what is this? Fighting these little battles, I don't know if that's a good idea. That looks really weak. And what about you? Are you able to... To leave now. So if we just left... Let's see, if you leave, just by yourself, Mr. Holy Lance... Okay, public order's not too bad. Alright, so this place needs a governor. You're old, you can stay behind here. That's okay. Alright, because we do need to get moving. Alright, so what can we take with us? Hopefully, just about everything. Okay, those will be free upkeep, so we can leave, hopefully, most of them behind. Good. So you stay there, keep it under control. I suppose you should be heading over this way a bit more. What are we building here? Church. Good. Okay, so combined force, we can actually make it to Cairo this turn. Whether or not we should actually take it or not, or besiege it, maybe we should keep fighting them around here, keep the crusade going just a little bit longer. Also thing to notice, I need to take them on and off the crusade as often as possible, every turn. Just to make sure that we don't get any deserters. It's a really, really fucking annoying thing that they start deserting so early on. We're only like a couple of turns into the, the crusade as well. Pretty small army there. The thing is, I don't know if we should chase these guys or just continue on this way. Because if we if we uh, leave these guys behind, they might go and attack Gaza or uh, Al Aquapa, and we've got guys here that we don't want to lose. In fact, actually, send these uh, Kurdish auxiliaries over here to help out in the garrison there, just in case. What have we got recruiting here? Okay, if these guys attack, we might be okay to hold out. But by attacking them just this one turn, and just pushing them back, at least they won't move until next turn. Same with them. So let's just keep going. We need to progress against these guys. Taking out their armies doesn't really do all that much. Okay, 
Let me see. Which is my strongest army? This one is strongest in regard to cavalry. Don't fight them across the bridge. You've got a lot of infantry, so I suppose you should be the one to assault Cairo. Let's do it. And that will, of course, end the jihad. That doesn't matter. Ah, it's not a jihad, it's a crusade. I'm too used to using Muslim factions. Um, wooden castle here. This will cut off their, uh, their supplies. Their recruitments. So that'll be good. Okay, and then over here we've got to deal with the Turks. So, in order to do that, let's grab... Get another force on Crusade. Good. Oh shit, I didn't leave anyone there. It's okay, just grab someone from here. Just you. Stand there. Can you be retrained? No, not yet. Good. Okay, and then... Come over here. Let's just see if there's any mercenaries in this territory. There are? Very good. Let's get them. Okay, let's reorganize. Okay, let me have a look at his traits. King Baldwin the Honorable. Okay, he's beyond battle now, so he's got minus four hit points. So he's really not the best. He should be just left in a governor state. Now he'll just be left alone for the rest of his life. But you can command this battle, and then afterwards, we'll leave it to someone else to deal with. Okay, there's more pilgrims here. Alright, let's go smash these fuckers up. So what are we up against? Yeah, we should be fine. Alright then, how are we going to go about this? Put these guys on this flank, you stay there. We'll have some reinforcements come in, but... And don't forget, these guys have got quite a lot of archers. So I think we just need to rush in on them. We should not send him in, because he gets... If he gets struck by an arrow, he'll probably die. Because I know in this game, when they're beyond battle, they're really beyond battle. I want you to get rid of these bloody Turkomans. I need I need long range archers to really be to best these guys, because the problem is if I get into melee with them, they just rout, and of course I've got to release them. Either that or I've got to trap them inside of a city. So if they want to sit there and shoot my spear militia or something, whilst my uh, Turkoman go and shoot them up a bit, that's also okay. We outnumber them by about 40 men. Then of course to take the difficulty level into account. You come a bit closer just to provide them with a bit more morale support. Okay, looks like we shredded them. Keep going after them. I should have killed these motherfuckers. Now they've got the high ground there. Can't let them keep that. Let's go up there, chase them. Try and get a bit of a charge on these motherfuckers, but really all we're trying to do is surround them. Just, I mean, breaking them is just the quickest way to beat them. Okay, you guys go fight the enemy general. You guys are actually good against cavalry as well. Come on, shoot them dead. I want every last one of these Turkish poles. I'm sorry, Turkmen's gone. Well, close. There's just two left. Like that one. All right, now come back over here. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, we'll get this guy completely surrounded and hopefully we can kill him. Being good against armor and against cavalry, give these guys all, all kinds of bonuses against this motherfucker. These Turkish archers are trying to get away. Not on my watch, they're not. I want to kill this motherfucker. I want him dead. The 
The biggest problem with the Crusader State's banner is that they're white, so I can't actually tell when they're when they're breaking. But at least he's gone. That'll probably break the rest of the army. So we capture them just so we can get this king of ours a bit more chivalry, so he's a bit more useful inside of a settlement, because this will probably be the last battle of his life. Unless it's a dire situation. I'm gonna take them down, go for it. What are you doing? You've got to be shooting. Shoot the, the guys trying to get away. Our cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. Come on, shoot them. Don't let them get away. I've already captured heaps. Come on. What the fuck are you guys doing? Dicking around. already captured plenty. Okay, you guys can't be trusted to be anywhere near each other. You're bloody shooting. Shooting your mates. Okay, stay back. Don't be running them down. I'm going to shoot them. Fucking get too close to each other. Alright, that'll do. I think we killed a decent amount of them. They actually killed more of my guys than we did of theirs. But that, that's okay. Uh, most of my guys were shit anyway. And we did kill their general. And yeah, all those goddamn pilgrim mercenaries. Who cares about them? And release them. We'll hopefully sort them out shortly. Merge. Okay, so with these guys here. Who are we going to put in charge of this bat of these bunch of uh, guys? Yeah, take these three. Oh, right. Too much. An honor. Would you wish to establish Actually, what we'll do is we'll take him out. Should you be giving some of these guys over to... Is this any good? Alright, I'll give you the Privy Seal. Pons de Bork, or whatever the fuck your name is. You can be Prince of Acre as well. Have those, that's fine. Alright, you you can spend the rest of your days in Acre for now. Try and grow this to a, a minor city. I think Tortosa, yeah, it's growing to a large town now. We'll just wait to next turn before we build it up. So he's really helping grow this, the, uh, the uh, faction. Uh, the whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, then we'll get these guys over here so that we can attack. Carissia next turn. Also, these guys will probably assault. We should probably send in some backup. Send him plus... Hang on, let me just see here. Okay, I'll send the... I'll send the Marinaria, whatever the fuck they're called. So that when they assault, we can provide some level of defense. And now let's check our building. So Jerusalem... What should we build? What's what's the best thing we can do to grow this area? Extra trade routes. Provides a little bit of extra income. Actually, it doesn't actually increase the trade routes. But the next one would. Council chambers. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this, so that we can access the next... Oh, then again, I'm not sure, sure. Maybe we need more military as well. Yeah, I'm going to go with military. We can grow this at a... It's growing already quite fast. Just leave it be. That great. What can we do to fix this up? We're low on cash now. That's okay, that's all the building's done. Do we need... I've already gone through and had a look at all the recruitment. I'm not able to get anything else. Although I think I can get a spy at uh, Tortosa. Because I wouldn't mind a thieves guild there. Okay, now I'd press end turn, but that would probably lead to a battle. And we've already done 
three or four already, and that's kind of pushing it. So that's the end of this video. So like and subscribe, part seven's next. Don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.